What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and this is gonna be my first impressions playthrough of the card battle game Slay the Spire. Now this game was 25 bucks on Steam. I mean, I was looking for a good card battle game to play to try out, because I just want I felt like that would actually be fun to try for once. But this was and this was the most popular one, but it was also the most expensive. I mean, I guess it makes economic sense, you know, supply and demand. When demand goes up, that means the price also goes up. But still, it's going to have to be pretty awesome. Like, it's going to have to be phenomenal in order to justify me keeping it at that price. It, 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 this wasn't even a demo, honestly. Though, it, I did see that it was available on Android. I might check later and see if that and see if I could uh, get it as a free to play game who knows uh, future Ace of Thorn post show a screenshot will ya anyway let's see what this game has to offer the all start standard the ironclad I have no idea what that even is but sure Greetings, I am Neow. Neow! Neow! Reach the boss to receive more blessings. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. Huh. Relics found throughout the spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. Thank you. Okay. So these next few enemies are gonna have one HP each. Alright. Um Hmm. So do I play a card here? And play this card? There we go. Winner winner chicken dinner. Uh I add a card to my deck. Deal nine damage, but also draw one card. Oh, okay. Deal so I can, can keep playing if I do that. Deal up. Uh, deal two, 12 damage and apply two a week. Weakened creatures deal 25% less damage with attacks. That's good to know. Deal nine damage. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. What what do those two what do those two have to do with anything? Deal nine I'll go with this. Let's proceed. Uh As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling. That'll I'll lose three HP, but I have a 25% chance of getting a relic. You know what? Let's roll the dice. Ouch! All you find is corroded metal and a bit of burning pain. However, you're still convinced there's a relic. Success! After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pull your way out of the ooze, damaged but rewarded. Okay, so what was the relic that I got? It doesn't even... It doesn't tell me anything. Battle start. Okay. <sighs> Deal six damage. Okay, you know what? I don't. I'm no. I don't need to waste this. There we go. Colorless potion. Choose one of three random colorless cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Wait, cost? What the hell? Cost? What are you talking about? Gain two strength at the end of this turn. Lose two strength. Adds additional damage to attacks. Hmm. Deal five damage twice. Huh. Deal eight damage. Increase this card's damage by five this combat. Huh. I'll, do, I'll go with this. Okay, uh... I can gain five block. 
Hmm, so now there's two enemies. And they're both dead. Okay, deal five damage twice. Lose HP, but lose two HP, but deal 15 damage. Gain five, five block, deal five damage. Huh. I'll do that. I don't even know how blocking even works. But I wish I... I mean... Huh. I'm noticing something here. In the top left corners, there's these numbers. Uh, and they look to be in the same fiery circle as this 3 out of 3 is in the bottom left corner of the screen. Is that w what it means when they say cost? Oh! These guys are suddenly at full health. Okay, um... Gain 5 block, deal 5 damage... Uh, okay, I'm going to have to start uh, being a little bit strategic. Okay, yes, that card said one, and I saw that one got subtracted from the lower left corner. So that... So there is that, okay. And... Gotcha. Now... Not enough energy, right, because that says two, and I only have one out of three left. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll add a block. Okay. I can't do anything else, so I guess I'll end my turn. Ow. Okay. So my block goes down, and then he deals... Okay. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Uh, gain that. I just have get. I just have strikes and defends. Huh. Okay, you can die. Now you get to die, and I can play. I can play one more thing here, so I'll just add five block. So. That basically just means, uh, th okay, these, those red daggers, that seems to be how much damage they're going to do. So, what are the green thing, what are the green swirly things do? They're going to inflict me with poison? So, I'll deflect one of these guys and take the full five damage from the other, right? So, at the end of this, I should have 74 health remaining. Unless the... Ah! I've been weakened. Blocked. And weakened again. Yeah, 74 health left. Yeah, oh yeah. I've been weakened, so I can only do 4 damage with my strikes now. Huh. Gain 2 strength. You know what? That should... Improve, that should negate the effects of my, uh... Weakening. Oh, and they're all they're all looking to attack me next turn, it seems. So if you're the average YouTube viewer, you're probably thinking that you'd like to support your favorite content creators, but you either don't want to or can't afford to spend any money. Well, I did a little poking around and you're in luck. There is a way you can support this channel for the same money you were just gonna be spending anyway as long as you were otherwise an Amazon.com regular shopper. Look in the description of this video, and you should see this Amazon referral link. Clicking on it will take you to an iPhone 11 for sale on Amazon.com. But even if you aren't interested in that iPhone, once you click on that link, you'll have 24 hours to make a purchase. Any purchase on Amazon. As long as you make literally any purchase on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking that link, I will get a cut of the sales revenue. This means that you will be supporting my channel by spending the exact same money you were just going to be spending anyway. Of course, you can also support me in a more direct way for as little as $1 per month by heading over to patreon.com slash acerthorn. 
Regardless of your method, I hope you choose to support the channel so I can one day do this full time. Alright, resuming the video you all came to see in 3, 2, 1. This deals 8 damage and draws one card, so that can... That'll do, that helps to helps to keep me. That takes care of that guy. Huh. And this should take care of you. Unfortunately, I don't have any defense left, and I can't do anything because I'm out of tip energy costs. Cards require energy to play. The orb on the yeah, I figured that out already. Not enough energy. Sad. Oh, sadness. Ah, I took a real pounding there. Gain five block, but and deal three damage. So... There we go. Oh, damn. I am still weakened right now, so... I need to get rid of that guy before he can weaken me again. Oh shit, I don't have enough energy! I'm all out of it. Oh fuck, I didn't... I wasn't even paying attention to that. So he's gonna weaken me again. So now I'm only gonna be able to do like three damage. Or strike can deal six damage. Why? That is so bizarre. Uh, you die. Oh, now all of a sudden I'm dealing four damage again. What the hell, game? <sighs> I mean, it's a. I mean, you're fun to play. I mean, I'm having a good time. But. Okay. Deal, inflict. Okay, that'll protect me. Right? Actually, I got. I have five left over. Oh! Wait! I didn't even. I don't even carry my defense over? Well, that. Well, poo. Hmm. Die! Victory is mine! That. Okay, you know what? I think that'll. I think that'll do it. This was actually a surprisingly fun game. Unfortunately, like I said at the beginning, 25 bucks. Not really worth keeping. I'll check on uh, uh, future, uh, yeah, like I said, future Aether Sothorn is going to let you guys know if it's free to play on Android. And if it is, I'll be getting it on Android. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will not be keeping the game on Steam. So, with that said, I am Aether Thorn, and I will see you guys later. Peace!